Getting around Victoria could take you a little longer if one city councillor has her way. Shelley Gudgeon is leading a new campaign against speed limits. She wants to slow things down to make 40 the new 50. It has been done in other cities, but making the switch here could be a logistical and a financial nightmare. CTV's Joe Perkins has the story. It's the standard speed limit in residential areas. Sure, there are the occasional 40 zones and 30 zones around schools, but 50 is the default speed limit set by the province, a speed that has this city councillor pumping the brakes. 50 is too fast on the residential streets. Especially when she says many drivers are breaking the law. 50 people tend to go 55, 58. 60 if they can. And often they get away with it. That's why she wants to see 40 become the new standard. Now the biggest issue in this growing debate over speed limits might not be 50 or 40, but rather consistency for all drivers. I'll show you what I mean. Take this intersection on the border of Oak Bay and Victoria. Behind me, a sign for 30 kilometers an hour. Walk this way a little bit, another sign. This one for 40 kilometers an hour. And finally, one more sign this direction. This one for 50 kilometers an hour. It's confusing for the drivers. And sometimes I find myself zipping along and when, you know, when I shouldn't be. It's up, down, may, uh, within blocks, it can be 30, 40, or 50. Reducing the speed limit to 40 kilometers an hour is not a new idea. In 2010, Edmonton City Council spent half a million dollars on a pilot project that saw six neighborhoods adopt strict 40 kilometer limits. At the time, critics argued the change was ineffective and costly. If all the neighborhoods in Edmonton opted for this, it could cost $12.5 million. It's one of many concerns echoed by Victoria City staff. Then there are the police who say 40 or 50, speeders will speed. We're still going to be picking up the majority of the people doing 15, 20 or 30 kilometers an hour over, just like we do now. The city does not need the province's permission to change speed limits on city streets. But Councillor Gudgeon isn't seeking permission. Instead, she wants the province to take the lead. And while there's no indication any changes are coming, Gudgeon believes her message is just picking up speed. I love that. Yes, 40 should be the new 50. Absolutely. That's a good way of putting it. Joe Perkins, CTV News, Victoria.